Okay, in this video we're going to do numbers 7 and 8 in section 6. Okay, now let me zoom up a little bit so it gets a little bit bigger, you guys. Uh, okay, I think that's about as big as I can go. Well, I'll go a little bit bigger, you guys. Um, so I can see that figure in there. Alright, it says in the figure above, the segments A, B, C, D, and E, F all intersect at P. Okay. Oh, we got some angle measures, 90. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting them in. R equals 90. I'm going to put a right angle right there, 90 degrees. S equals 50. So this guy is 50 right here. T equals 60. Uh, U equals 45 down here. W equals 50. 50. And then they want to find X. X is way up here. Okay, now, what I remember, triangles add up to 180, you guys. So what I'm going to do is, is add these guys. These add up to 110, so this one must be 70 to get me 180 in that triangle. These guys add up to uh, 95 right here, so this angle right here must be 85 to get in that triangle right here. Now what I'm going to do is what's called the vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. I'm going to take this 85 and throw it right up here. 85. Now if I can get this angle, this other angle right here, then I can do the 180 in this triangle and have my answer. Okay, here is this, a straight line, straight lines add up to 180. So I have here 70, I have 85, I need, let's see, that adds up to 155, so to get my full 180, this angle here must be 25. So there we go, I have a I have the R right here, I have the 25 right here, so I'm going to need 65 more to get this, so the answer is choice C. Choice C, sorry, let's scroll that up, it is 65. Okay, number 8. Now, this is the last part of this section, we're still doing section 6, but this, the next part is the grid-in responses, and I'll go over those in just a second. Okay, number 8. Based on the portions of the graphs of the functions, F and G shown, okay, look, F is this straight line right here, and G is this upside-down parabola right here. It says, what are the values of X between negative 6 and positive 6? Okay, it goes to the left, negative 6. It goes to the right, positive 6. For which the function G is greater than the function F. Okay, when they're giving you graphs, when one's greater than the other, it shows you, it's asking, when is G higher than F? When is G on top of F? That's what this is asking. G is, remember G is the parabola. G is on top of F right here. Okay? That's the only time it's on top of F. Otherwise the line's on top of the parabola over here and the line's on top of the parabola over here. But right here the parabola is on top of the line. This is X equals negative 3. This is X equals 0. So it's between negative 3 and 0. So it's choice B. Okay, I'll see you in the next videos, and we're going to start doing some of the grid in the free response sections.